Jones runs a reverse. Pettis throws it for Jones, who makes a one-handed catch and gets shoulder down at the 32-yard line by Chandler. Since you've made that catch, they're calling you ODJ. <laughs> what is the funniest reaction or comment you've heard from a teammate or family member since making that catch? Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm, uh, I think that's a, a stretch to say the least there with that. I, it wasn't the, wasn't the smoothest route, wasn't the smoothest, smoothest, smoothest catch. Uh, was able to, to make it. You've had a bad break of injuries on this team. Have you felt extra pressure to perform at a high level and step up for the guys that are missing? Not really, uh, to be honest with you. I think um, you know when you're missing someone, it's on, it's on uh, you know all all 11 of us to, to step up and and uh, fill the spot for those guys. But like we said, we've had a lot of guys come in and play really well for us. Um, you know, so so it's about playing to their strengths and and uh, um, you know we've got good players, so just gotta gotta get the ball in their hands and, and let them make plays. Still TBD, but are you excited to hopefully welcome back some of those playmakers and be close to full strength? Uh, yeah, I'm you know excited, and, and I know those guys are working hard to, to get back. So um, you know, looking forward to it when they are able to get back. If not this week, um, hopefully in the future. Daniel's going to play at a high level. I think he has all the tools to be a great quarterback. And now with a su supporting cast around him, uh, he should be able to make that stride into a, into a top quarterback. For you, year three, how's it been having Eli in the building using him as a soundboard? He's been uh, in and out of the building. Um, you know, and, and you know, getting to see him a few times, talking here and there, uh, certainly helpful. But um, you know, I've enjoyed uh, you know working with him a little bit. The jury was still loud for Eli as well as Phil Sims as great quarterback after year three. Are there lessons you can take away from their career and apply to yours? Oh, there's certainly things you can you can learn from other guys and guys who come before you. So um, you know, talking to talking to Eli and, and, and hearing about some of that stuff, but. You know, I think, you know, focused on, on what we're doing here, you know, making sure I'm preparing, uh, you know, this week and focusing on the Chiefs uh, to play my best, you know, this week and, and, uh, and help the team. So, you know, that's really my focus right now.